Hello everybody, this is Red Effect and today we will be talking about tiger battle scene in movie Fury and why it is unrealistic. The tiger gunner manages to hit a perfect shot on a moving M4 Sherman, but later he misses shots uh, when shooting at the Fury and other tanks with, uh, from a range around uh, 800 yards. Well, how do I know it's 800 yards? Then they hit Tiger with smoke shells to cover up his view so that he couldn't shoot them. Then the Tiger emerges from the smoke and for some reason keeps moving forward towards them. You might say they could penetrate his frontal armor. Well, I say they couldn't, first of all. Uh, they are coming from his 10 hours. You can hear the German commander saying Zain Ura, which means 10 hours and that is 60 degrees angle uh, which means the tiger's armor is doubled on the front and you can see well they were zoomed into the tiger that uh, every shot bounces because they are coming from the 60 degrees which they have no chance of penetrating and uh, they are using uh, M62 shell as it you can see in this picture uh, uh, how do you know it's M62? Well, uh, look at this chart of uh, US uh, World War II shells. Uh, M62 has uh, is longer than M79 shell, which had better penetration. And here are the uh, armor penetration standards of M62 shell, which, as you can see, it couldn't penetrate. At 30 degrees angle, uh, uh, it had 100 millimeter penetration at 500 yards. This is 60 degrees angle and it is approximately 500 yards wherein they fire. Uh, you can see here, uh, you can hear the commander of M4A1 76mm Sherman saying 500 yards in the scene. After Tiger uh, manages to destroy uh, M4, uh, M4 76 uh, Sherman, uh, it uh, manages to hit. Fury, uh, as you can see in this picture, it's the place where it hits. Uh, it hits it from uh, 60 degrees angles also, uh, because he says say zwei uh, uhr, which means two hours, and he hits him from that angle, which means from uh, shooting from this uh, point, as you can see in this picture, it would hit the fuel tank and. Uh, the engine. In the scene the uh, shell is activated and explodes before entering the tank. Well in the reality uh, 88 mm Panzergranate 39 shell would uh, need 28 mm of armor to be activated at 0 0.8 milliseconds to explode uh, which <laughs> if you take the wood that uh, Fury has on the right side of uh, its armor then I don't know it's there's no way it's 28 millimeter of steel rolled homogous armor. Well, the Fury is uh, flanking Tiger. The Tiger is moving backwards, which, okay, I can understand he's trying to run away. Then the commander of the Tiger orders the driver to stop. Okay, maybe he will start turning right to turn his front, exp uh, not to expose his side and rear armor, which are weak. No, he orders his driver to move forward, exposing the side and the rear armor, which are the weakest spots of the Tiger, giving a fury opportunity to destroy him. And last but not least, uh, look at the positions of the turret. In each, well, when every time when the scene changes uh, its viewpoint of view, the turret is located on this, um, uh, the gun of the turret is uh, aiming at some other place, like here it is aiming uh, uh, at the right where exactly where the ass of the fury is, here it is uh, aiming at the back of the tiger, I don't know, it's just unrealistic and the fury manages to hit his ass and ignites the fuel it should have happened to fury when it was hit uh, and yeah yeah look at this picture this is where the fury is flanking L compare those two pictures here you can see the uh, tiger where the tiger exactly shot and here is the hole 
about half a meter right of the place where the shell entered. If th this was reality, they would all be pretty much dead. End of the story. Thanks for watching.